Today I want to talk to you about split keyboards, mechanical keyboards in general and if it's worth the hype or the productivity. Also I said in my last video I want to give away this nice Phoenix keyboard so I will also announce the winner in this video. From the intro you may saw that I use uh, mechanical keyboards and especially split keyboards. The question is, is it worth the hype? Currently there are many people building mechanical keyboards. For example, you may saw the video of Ali where he created his own mechanical keyboard as a productivity keyboard and also maybe the video from Hippio. So first of all, mechanical keyboards are quite a lot of fun. For me, the whole thing about mechanical keyboards and especially split keyboards is fun and if you don't enjoy typing on it, you shouldn't use it. So typing on a mechanical keyboard feels at least a bit more productive and it's also quite a lot of fun, but should you invest into a split keyboard or is it not worth it? I also type quite a lot on the keyboard from Apple, so the external as well as the internal from the MacBook. and. From the words per minutes, I have to say I'm not faster on a mechanical keyboard and especially I'm not faster on a split keyboard. The speed, I don't think that speed is your problem. I mean, you're sitting here watching this video, what I really, uh, I'm glad that you're watching it, but if you watch the video instead of working, then the speed of typing is not the issue of your productivity. You are not like more productive if you type 100 words per minute versus 70 or 50. So you are not more productive if you type faster. It feels a bit nicer to type faster because you can like then bring your thoughts basically faster to the table, but it's not that you are more productive. And especially if you get into mechanical keyboards, I don't know how many hours of research I put into mechanical keyboards, how many hours of finding the right switches, the right keycaps, the the stuff building it, uh, soldering it together. There are so many things involved into building mechanical keyboards that that's not the productive thinking. So you are not more productive on it. If you think purely productive, you should stay with the MacBook keyboard. Don't use any other keyboard, just type on it. And instead of thinking about different keyboards, buying different keyboards, just work, then you are definitely way more productive than creating a split keyboard and learning to type on it. And especially the first two months, it was just pain. Like learning to type on the corn, uh, learning to type on the skeletal with a Merioku layout. It took a while. So it's pain to learn typing on a new keyboard. Now that I know how to type on it, I can switch back and forth super fast and super easy. So I have no trouble switching between the skeletal and the internal MacBook uh, keyboard. The one thing I would say is a bit of problematic is if you switch between different split keyboards. For example, if I switch between the skeletal and the corn, I have quite a lot of issues because the key bindings are very different on my case. The costs are quite high. If you saw in my one of my last videos, I built the skeletal for roughly 50 euros. So this is the lowest, lowest you can go basically. Uh, there's no upper limit. The uh, Moonlander costs like four or 500 euros. Uh, the, that's basically the most expensive, I think, or the most expensive I know at least. So it, it gets up to quite a high price um, and everything in between. So the corn, my first build was like 200 euros. So it's quite a lot of money that you put into split keyboards. And that's not what you think about if you think about productivity. It's more just pure fun. Think about building your own split keyboard as a hobby, but not for productivity. And if you're interested in getting all the parts together, or if you are searching for a list of uh, parts you need, let me know down in the comments. I can create like a AliExpress shopping list or something. Uh, happy to provide with that because I put quite a lot of research in all the parts uh, that I use. And also I'm currently in the progress of building my own keyboard. Uh, so stay tuned if you're interested in how to design your own PCB and then getting everything together. That's currently in progress and <laughs> takes quite a lot of time again. But as I said, it's not about productivity, it's pure fun. And um, yeah, to summarize it, go into mechanical keyboards to have fun, but don't go into mechanical keyboards to uh, be more productive. And on the normal mechanical keyboard side, I would say 
It's fun, and if you buy anyways a keyboard, an external keyboard for your work setup, I would definitely go for a mechanical one in, in comparison to a normal Cherry or Logitech one, just because it feels nice to type on it, not because you are more productive on it, but it feels nicer. And if you then think about like the next steps, uh, it's it's quite nice to get into the, the whole world of mechanical keyboards and, and, and the typing on it. Don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And one interesting thing, like who won this nice Phoenix keyboard, if you're interested in the review, uh, watch the latest video or the last video that I created for this one. This one goes to Icy Fire Deluxe. He commented under the last video and I used uh, some code to just randomly select one and Icy Fire Deluxe was selected. Please comment down below and uh, get in contact with me so I can ship it to you. In conclusion, I would say, Consider it as a fun hobby, but don't think that you are more productive on it. Other than that, I wish you a great weekend. Happy coding and see you next time.